fantastic. I learned about the man world of failure effect. That was very good. And uh, connecting positions and some techniques. Um, and uh, Do we like John Cage? Um, I respect him. <laughs> 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 I would like to say from Canada, uh, on behalf of our international group of students here, we have students from Australia, from Italy, from Brazil, from Lebanon, uh, that we would like to all of us say thank you very much to Maestro Ruben Diaz for not yeah, only teaching us uh, yeah. <laughs> why it's important, but uh, bringing us all together. And we would also like to thank him for uh, beating us for the last three days and for showing us <laughs> that the more beatings we get, the more he loves us. And we equally love him and we show him our love by playing better each time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, creativity, many different approaches to uh, creativity. Again, working with fantastic players, um, counterpoint, answering, response. Uh, working through modes, um, playing over different chord progressions, uh, so much, so little time, so much to learn. This was better than last year or Yeah, same? definitely, definitely. Much better, much better. Walter, you... You've got a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> now, definitely uh, learn to play with others, uh, their spaces, try to mimic, uh, like, conversation-wise in music. It was uh, helpful. Celso, what did you learn this year? I learned uh, other things, uh, how to put other links, like how to put uh, some other ways in the other things in the music, and how to play like uh, with uh, other people, uh, like respecting the space of the others, and like to try to do uh, something, something that. Uh, can combine with the all the others. Ramsey, <laughs> I, I learned line. a lot. Uh, first, discipline. A new method to how to practice daily routine about scales, uh, about progressions, uh, how you can uh, hear someone else if you are playing in uh, duo or trio or whatever. Uh, even the, I've got. Um, too many questions about uh, scales and modes and the progressions uh, and that was a good answer for that in this uh, master class. Um, this uh, class was very valuable because uh, not only did it teach uh, what notes to use and when but specifically how the interaction is between other musicians uh, when the right notes are played, um, when you finish playing, what the next person will play, listening to each other specifically, what their melodies are, and being able to connect uh, so that there's one fluid, smooth piece of music that's not just disjointed uh, melodies from one person to another, but we're all playing uh, one melody uh, so that there's uh, flow and continuity between the uh, sounds of each musician and also the way each musician is approaching it. We also learned about um, not just about notes and melody, but also about the spirit of the music and what makes music work and what it doesn't, what, what doesn't make it work. So it was a very valuable session.
anything like this. And said, this comes from Gil. So I, I sent the album where it came and that. Okay, you pay the, the ground. <laughs> so they, they get to, we can start to earn money that way with bets that, that play anything you want to do. And I will tell you when Paco did something that this is a copy from there. So that was, then I discovered I had this talent to analyze the stuff because of learning that. And now the best use is to teach you the stuff. Mm -hmm. So in, in effect, this is the problem with flamenco now. There is nothing original. Everything is just a copy of the copy of the copy of Paco, which they don't admit it's a copy because if you go and say this is a copy, they, some people feel shocked. But how, what do you mean? I, I think I invented it. Yeah. The problem is that you don't have enough. You have, that's why you have to. We were saying Picasso was first master of Rembrandt, Raphael, and the tradition of the school, and then became Picasso. So Dali, same thing. They never thought. Everyone has his own thing. And nobody can be Rembrandt after all. So why is it to be Rembrandt? Well, go to the Museum del Prado and ask the people copying there, Rembrandt, El Greco, and those. Why are you doing that? Nobody can be a Greco man. Everyone has his own stuff. So you follow your own thing. This is a great rationalization for being lazy. Mm -hmm. People will love it. But the fact is, the fact is, they will get work inside the box. What do, what do you say about singing, uh, flamenco singing right now? Is it uh, also they they are facing the same uh, problems? Yes, because also they are that is a, it's a copy, copy in Camarón. Camarón. But, uh, but, yeah, but the problem is that Camarón in, in, in per se is a phenomenon yes, yes. that is created from the Paco de Lucia structure thing. So it means that it's also not Camarón. Cameron did not know all these chords. For example, let me just prove it. He, 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 he doesn't. Uh, I know that he, he, he don't have uh, knowledge, knowledge in music. That's right. But so he, he, he was a great singer. singer. Maybe his originality but, or uh, he was a great, great singer. Pronunciation is But the problem is that uh, when it comes to composition. In, in flamenco also, they were with this thing of playing just three chords. Yes. That was also yes. true. Yes. And therefore, when Paco started changing things, he included Camarón in that project because he was his friend and was also certainly inspired. Mm -hmm.